In 1979, Arthur C. Clarke wrote a book entitled The Fountains of Paradise, which was set amid the construction of a space elevator. Clarke's intention with the book was to specifically showcase the space elevator concept, and happily, I can report that space elevators are eminently possible, and probably something we will someday have. One serious advantage of a space elevator is that you can put things in orbit very cheaply with one. Rockets are expensive and limited. You have to expend a lot of energy to launch a relatively small payload. With a space elevator, not only will it require less energy, but as Clark pointed out, in principle, you could also reclaim energy during the elevator's descent. The reason we have yet to build a space elevator is that the materials needed that have sufficient tensile strength, the measure of how strong something is when you pull on it, are only just being developed. With the advent of carbon nanotubes, along with improvements in the manufacturing of graphene, space elevators then move into doable territory when those materials come down in cost. The basic physics is pretty simple. You put your space elevator's base at the equator. In Clark's story, it was a fictional island on the equator that was patterned after the culture of Sri Lanka where Clark lived. Then, at the top of the elevator, you put a station or counterweight above geostationary orbit. That balances both gravity and centrifugal force and allows the space elevator to be held up under tension. From your station, you can then launch space missions or use it as a base of operations to construct space stations or whatever you wish to build in space. Space elevators won't just be useful here on Earth. You can build them at the equators of Mars or the Moon as part of future colonies on those bodies. So, in short, Arthur Clarke called it right. Space elevators are, at least in principle, possible. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently marveling at all the possible uses of materials like graphene. There are thousands, and be sure to check out my Patreon page, link in the description below, and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for regular in-depth explorations into the world of futurism, science fiction, and the science behind it.